Okay, so welcome to the web room walkthrough. Um, so pretty much as soon as you get a hold of the software, you're going to be able to kind of jump in. Um, always kind of check, make sure you're up to your current version. We have a version checker. If you don't, give uh, the Center for eLearning a call and we'll get that get you set up for that. Um, so what we actually have here is three rooms. So always make sure you kind of know what group your room is supposed to be in. Uh, kind of ignore this up in here. That's just to let you know what buttons I'm pressing when uh, we do that. So I'm going to join room one for right now. And so as you can see, it's kind of loading in. Uh, the next thing that you'll see here is that there's a player select screen. So what you want to do is go ahead and give a name. So I'm Robert, so I'm just going to drop that into there. And then I get to choose from a number of characters. Eventually, we will add a custom character creator, but for right now, this is what we have. So as soon as I select that character, I have the ability to jump right into the room and get started. So as you can see, if I right click, um, as indicated by the bar up here at the top left hand corner. Um, if I left click, I can rotate around my character just by moving my mouse. And then if I wanted to walk is W for forward, S for backwards, A is strafe left, and D is strafe right. So just like your common uh, Call of Duty controls, that's the best way to handle that. Um, Pretty much that's the kind of the best way to do that. As you notice down here at the bottom left hand corner, there's a microphone. If I hold down control, uh, you can see where the indicator is moving and I should be technically sending voice to everyone in the room. If there's someone else in the room, you should hear me talking. So if I let go, uh, if you notice I'm no longer broadcasting because there's no longer that blue bar there. Um, if I want to send a text to somebody, um, just by clicking down here in the left hand corner or just moving, um, you can see if I just look at it, it will just auto populate any text that we send. But if I want to type, I can come over here and say hello and then send or hit the enter key to send that chat and it shows up right there. Um, these are pretty simple basic controls. We didn't want to overload or scare anybody with it. Um, if you hold down or if you press the tab key, it brings up the player list. So if there's a particular person or player that's kind of annoying you, you can either lower them or if their microphone's a little bit off, you can kind of raise that. So that's what I'm just kind of doing right there. I'm just going to take it back to the center. And so as soon as I let go, we no longer see the players. But that also gives us a list of players that would also be in that room. <clears throat> Menus are pretty simple. Uh, we don't have a lot here, and we're looking to clean this up later. But your best option is just not to touch these for right now. Um, if you forget where you're going, you can hit menu and they'll take you to, or hit help, and that will take you to a bunch of other items um, that let you know what you need to do. It's pretty simple right now, but at the same time, there's not a whole lot that we can do. Uh, menu takes you out of the room, so in case you join the wrong room, you can just say, oh yeah, I want to go to room two instead of room one. It drops you in. Keep in mind that you have to choose a new name. Uh, Jenny. Jenny's a fun name. And... I'm going to be this guy. That's funny to me. So I can walk around the office. Uh, the best thing that you can do is just kind of collaborate with your, with uh, everyone else. This is the conference room. There's not a whole lot of areas that we can sit in. Uh, but if you do walk across something that has um, a hand in it, just like on the internet, if you click on it, we'll just kind of jump over and we'll take a nice seat. Um, so if you just want to kind of look around and kind of work with how that that works out. Uh, to get up, just uh, press the W key or actually any of the movement keys and that will allow you to get back up and start moving around again. And if you run into any doors, uh, if it has that little hand symbol right there, you can open it. If there is no hand symbol, you cannot open that door. So it's pretty simple when it comes to that. So if I click to this door, it opens and I can just kind of walk through. All right, that's pretty much the basics. If you have any questions, ask your uh, one of the room monitors and they can help you get started. All right, thank you. Bye.